Hey everyone, I'm Carter with First Updates Now. Today I'm here with the Joe Bucks, a new state championship for the Northwest Michigan District. Today we're going to check out their awesome climber mechanism, their awesome depositing mechanism, and much, much more in this episode of Behind the Box. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, so would you guys like to explain the pixel manipulation mechanisms and all that went into it? Maybe a little bit of the iterations Did you test different wheels and things like that? Yep. So to pick up pixels, um, what we do, we use these red fail flails and they spin around in circles and they'll push the pixels in. Um, they will then, then be deposited into the um, orange conveyor belt, which will send the pixels into the bucket, which will then go up with our lift mechanism and be dropped by the gate at the edge. Um, one special thing about our intake, um, we have a block of cheese, which um, redirects the pixels so that they go into the bucket because the intake is disproportional to the bucket. So this will help redirect it. And actually the block of cheese, it took us um, three iterations to get it to the right um, specifications. All right, and then an additional question about your pixel manipulation mechanism. Could we turn the robot around really quick? Yep. So there's this little flap in the back here. Can you explain a little bit about that? Yep, so that flap on the back, um, it's to make sure the pixels can um, smooth, um, slide into the backboard smoothly because otherwise they tend to fall off because they bounce and then hit off. So this really makes it so that it can slide on smoothly and it doesn't like come off. Awesome to hear, very innovative solutions. I saw that worked very, very well. All right, do you guys want to talk a little bit about the drivetrain, maybe your drone launching mechanism and your climber? That has been very successful this weekend. So for our drone launcher, we use spring, the spring loaded mechanism um, to push that little square piece east. There's a tiny square hole in that square piece. You push it back and then there's a tiny rod right there that goes in to the hole. All at once push back. Then we, then we load the drone in and then using a servo, the servo will pull the rod up, launching in and forward, shooting the drain, that shooting the drone to land us 30, 20, or 10 points. Our drain uses the cam wheels, goes on four sides, and then to track where it's going, we use dead wheels here, here, right here, and then we use two more or of the here, here, and here are the dead wheels. Those will locate where we are on the field. All right, and then can you tell me a little bit about your climber and do a little demonstration of that if you can? So our, our hangers are these plastic hooks hooks which are attached to this and uh, when you turn it they move up like this they also help us us go through the stage door age door which is why this is here so these are to hang and get us 20 points and to help us go through the stage door Awesome. The, this climber right here is very successful this weekend. I don't think it failed once. Uh, now, can we get outside of the mechanical aspect of things? Can we look through the uh, software side of things? Any sensors that you guys use? Maybe talk a little bit through the odometry, uh, anything like that. Talk about all the different, uh, you know, uh, mechanisms that combined software wise. Sure. For uh, First of all, for our autonomous, we use two cameras for two different corners each because we find it easier when the intake is pointed towards the truss, truss to drop pixels. So these two cameras, they uh, use a 
they use a program called OpenCV, which stands for Open Confu Computer Vision. And they draw little boxes and they see the colors inside of them. And depending on the percent of those colors, they select, oh, something's in this box, oh, something's in this box. And we use those to drop a purple pixel on the stripe mark and a yellow pixel in the back one. Also, another thing we uh, use is our dawn material, our dead wheels, shown before. So with that, there's an interesting thing that happened this year. Rodon kind of updated the new processes. So we kind of have to relearn how to use Rodon and how to like do auto in just in general. Now for teleop, we also have um, encoders for our left and our uh, hangar mechanism because we need to sense where it's at and move it to a different position. For our drive, we don't need to do that so, because simply we need to tell it to go forward and yeah, that's it. That's awesome. Awesome software to uh, pair with some awesome mechanical side of things here. Awesome weekend this, guy, this time for you guys. Uh, successful weekend, I would say, overall. Won the state championship. I don't know if you can be more successful than that. So congratulations, guys. Go celebrate. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. This is Carter with First Updates Now signing off. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more and order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.